Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how I create this uh, model form in FreeCAD. I have four flat surface and uh, some small fillet in here and some big surface up here and hollow inside. So hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so in the prep workbench, I create a sketch in the front view and I will create a slot. Okay, select this point and this point and I hit C to snap it. Uh, next, I will uh, set the dimension of this line uh, 120. And the radius up here is 15. I turn this uh, arc into construction. And create a line to connect in between. Up here, I also turn this line, this arc into construction. And create a center arc. Start from the center point in here. Create another one. Okay, you can see the second one to snap uh, to the the old arcs. Which is fine. So I select the issue and hit C. Select this point and this point. Hit C. Select this point and this line. Hit C. This point and this line. Hit C. Okay. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close. Next, I will create a surface based on these uh, lines. So you go to the surface workbench. Right, go to the filling tool and select edges in sequence. Okay, now I have a new surface and I hide the sketch. I have five lines with one face. So now I go to the drop bench and I want to move this uh, surface away, uh, away from the center. I go to the placement for position and I move it in the y axis. Let's try 10, maybe 20. Okay, away from the center. So let me show the axis cross. So now you can see. Uh, select the surface and go to the array, um, polar array. And I want to reset the center and set this to 4. So now I have 4 copies of this plane. I go to the part workbench. I click on the array and go to the fusion. Oh, yes. Okay. Now I turn this array into the real geometry. Next, I will create an arc down here and fill the gap. Create a sketch in the top view. And I will reference this uh, point and this point. I create an arc in between. And in this case, I don't want to make it a tension. Because later I want to uh, add a fillet uh, in between. So I set the radius to uh, 10. Close. Okay, now um, I can use the sweep tool and I choose the sketch 001 and choose this one as the part. Okay, now I just whip uh, in between to fill the gap. So you can see inside the whip is the sketch and the fusion. The next step is I will create uh, an arc up here. So I create a sketch in the top view and offset this up to 150. 
I create a center arc, start from the center point, go out, select this point and this line and hit C, this point and this line hit C, and I set the radius to uh, 12. Close. Okay. Next, I will go to the curves workbench and write lines to bridge in between. So I can just select this point and then this point. And I create a line. Okay. Doing the same in here. Select this point. And create a line. The next step is I will extrude these two lines to the um, outer direction to generate two more surfaces. And in between, I will fill the surface and add the tension uh, within these three faces. I go to the product workbench and select this line and go to extrude. And in the uh, Y axis, doing the same here, I choose the S axis. Okay. Now I go to the surface workbench and using the filling tool and starting from this uh, this line. So this one will be the, the the first line. And select edges in sequence. I double click on the the first edge. The extrude one and uh, choose the face and G one. Choose the sweep edge. Choose the face and G one. And I choose the extrude zero zero one edge. Choose the face and G one. Okay. Now I can hide the issue. Next, I go to the. Um, Drag workbench. I will create multiple uh, polar array. So it's select this uh, surface. And I go to the uh, polar array. And reset point and set this to 4. OK. Select this uh, sweep. And doing the same polar array. Reset point, set this to 4, OK. Up here, I also uh, want to polarize the arc and uh, fusion them to create a single uh, circle. So select the uh, sketch 002, which is this arc, and create polarize. Reset point, set it to 4. OK. Now I can go to the plot workbench. And I click on the array 003, which is the uh, this one, and click on the fusion, a union. Now I have this fusion. I will extrude this fusion up to 10 to generate a new surface. I click on this, um, I click on the array 001 and go to the union and doing the same with this one. I zoom closer and hide the, the arc. Up here, uh, down here, I will uh, use in the surface and uh, fill in uh, the hole down here. Doing the same up here. I hit Shift B and select everything and go to the Curves Workbench and Parametric Solid. Okay.
Now I select this face, go to the product workbench and create a thickness. So right now uh, I have a problem. I cannot uh, create the thickness. Let's try again. Select this face and thickness. So I still cannot create thickness uh, based on this form. So uh, instead of doing the thickness directly, I will write a clone of this and scale this down and create a boolean cut. So select the solid, go to the drop bench, create a new clone. Down here, I will change the scale uh, to 0 0.98 for S and Y. And let's show the Y frame. So you can see the gap in between the inner, inner geometry and outer geometry. So I just playing around with this setting to see what is the best uh, option. So I move this in the Z axis, 1 mm. Ninety four, ninety four. Uh, scaling this in the S and Y to zero point ninety three and the Z to zero point ninety nine is good. And move, uh, and move it up to the Z axis one mm. So let me hide the the solid, and I want to extrude this one up to make it longer for the cutter. So I go to the trimmers and let me. Uh, Go to the left view, but we need to set the distance of the trimmers, so set it to 10. You can see we have another extrusion. So I need to combine these two, so go to uh, Union to combine these two. Now I show the solid and I can create a cut. Select the solid first and the uh, fusion later and go to the cut. Now I can correct fill it. Select uh, one of these edges down here. And correct fill it. 0 0.5. Also, select these uh, these edges, just uh, four edges is enough. Set this to one, so one doesn't work. So let's go back to 0 0.5. So we have a little small fillet. Select these three. Pray fill it with uh, 0 0.5. So it's working. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.